that recognizable style that you guys have, mm -hmm. it's never happened to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, you just recognize my colors, but in terms of the designs, I, you know, I still haven't. I'm still at it 25 years later looking, so. But I think I'm closer than I've ever been. All right. All right. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, I could just uh, fuse a whole bunch of big red flowers on here. It could be my quilt. <laughs> I happened upon an exhibit at the Museum of American Folk Art, and it was quilts with, um, I think it was some traditional quilts and some art quilts, but to see quilts hanging in a museum setting with the lighting that were meant to go on the wall, and they were just exquisite, that I was just totally taken by that, and it was just a whole new world for me. And I had sewn all my life, so it wasn't really intimidating, I didn't feel like I needed to take a class or something, I just thought, okay, I'm going to go home and start sewing some fabric strips together and see what I can come up with. And for the past eight years, I've been doing large nature-themed quilts, usually flowers or some butterflies. I like to do my own drawings and enlarge them, so they're kind of like paintings. And then with doing the flowers, I'm not really trying to capture the flowers in a photographic way. Really, I want to capture their personality. So to be, you know, have a really huge wall of flowers to be viewing that and have the flowers even bigger, as big or bigger than you are, really helps capture the personality of this is like something really bold or really exciting. So, um, yeah, so I love the big, the impact that really big quilts make. And a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the trick to qu machine quilting this huge thing because it's a lot to fit under a sewing machine. And I don't have, a lot of people ask me if I have a big long arm sewing machine. Um, I just have a 20 year old Bernina that I use for my quilting and it's a lot of shoving, rolling, getting it under there the be any way I can, but it is, you know, yeah, it is more challenging on my shoulders and my back too. So I know I have to keep working even if I'm not inspired. Um, can't wait for that to hit. You get in the studio and work when you can, when you have energy. So that's what I do.